Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm going to be talking about the Polish variation, I think. Yeah, it's called the Polish variation in the Queen's Pawn opening. I don't know how is it that famous, but it has been played a few times. It has never been played on the top level. So if I'm ever trying to show a game or if you're ever trying to search a game in this variation, you're probably not going to find a very high quality one. But it happens a few times in the under 2400 level, I feel. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to talk about today. So it goes with d4, b5. After b5, many people think, what is the idea of b5? It's not as random as you think might think it is. It's not random because many people feel after b5, they just want to stop any c4 ideas and they just don't want to stay in the classical king's indian uh, setup and the other thing is not king's indian sorry queen's gambit so and the other thing is a b5 can also lead to a good variation in the sicilian because they feel like many players as white would play e4 and now they can easily transfer their themselves excuse me they can easily transfer themselves to a nice sicilian position so if i play the move e5 a6, knight f3, e6, bishop d3, c5. It looks like black's development is terrible, but the pieces will flow immediately. The knight comes here, bishop comes here, queen comes here, bishop comes here. And there's a lot of flow in the position. So this is what the plan is with the Polish defense. But it's still playing e4 and going into the opponent's prep. We will not do that. We will play knight of three. And now your opponent will be thinking, because if he's not, he's a bad player. And if he, Or if he's not a bad player, he's a well-prepared player, but no one's going to be prepared against this, because no one sees this coming. So you have an advantage. Thank you for watching. Let's keep going. Now we get bishop b7. Many people play a6, uh, many people play a6 first, but bishop b7, because I still haven't pushed this pawn. He's just hoping that I push this pawn to e3. Well, oh, not e3, sorry. Now he's just hoping I try some crazy king, uh, crazy structure trying to get this pawn to the center, but I'm not going to do that. Bishop f4. Now the opponent just cries on the board. Good for him. Knight f6. e3. Now we have the party hat, which we're going to go for after c3. Then this bishop comes here. We're just playing for a structure... We just have to make sure we don't do too much crazy stuff. Oh, just a second. If any of you are thinking, has this actually never been played at the high level? This position did come in the high level with the with E3. It was played in a match in 2018 against Fabiano Caruana and Vashir Max, uh, Maxim Vasha Lagrav. But many people think, did it come from the Polish? No, it did not. It came... Uh, specifically from, you could say, some Sicilian structure, which is about to be played. And it's also been played by U.S. champion Rasser Seravan and Boris Paski, former world champion. So this position has been shown a lot by grandmasters. And many people don't prepare against this because they're expecting e5 in the Polish. But okay, after e3, then comes a a6. a6, uh, nice move, just keeping the defense. A6 after that comes knight to d2. Knight to d2 is not that common. Many grandmasters sometimes play a move like uh, they play a move like c4. They think it's better. That's what grandmasters play. But okay, we don't. We're not grandmasters, and we don't try to be one. We play uh, we play knight to d2. Knight to d2 because we like the we like the London system structure. And pushing c5 is ambitious towards the queen side. It's possible and can work, but we don't want to go there. Then comes e6. Bishop to d3. Normal move. Now comes c5. c5 is bound to come with black. Any black player who's playing like this will play c5 because that's the only break for black. Or unless your position is just bad as black, you just underdevelop. We play moves like c3 and we have a nice solid structure. So now the opening is complete, to be honest. Nah, yeah, so the opening is complete. But the thing is, how do we play this in the middle game? 
because there are ideas of c4 c4 you bring your bishop back e4 e4 e5 that's how you push towards the king side the plan here with white is to play on the black is to play on the queen side because that's the only place that's open for him and we have to play on the king side only thing we have to make sure is after the c5 move which is very likely make sure you just don't bring your bishop back to e2 because now it just looks dead and no one likes a dead bishop on e2 so just make sure you don't do that so thank you for watching i know it's a short video i made it made it short because uh this position is this doesn't come very likely and the chance of you getting it is pretty low but it has been played a few times so i just wanted to make sure that you know that the structure which you're trying to go with and what are your basic attacking ideas it's not that complicated and yeah that's basically it so please like share and subscribe and if this ever shows up please tell please tell me i just want to know how the game went because no one yet has told me thank you for watching good night day evening morning wherever whatever you